Welcome to Cruise News Central with Joseph. Today's show is going to blow you away. Kind of like the Caribbean princess that was docked in Norway and broke away from its mooring lines. In today's episode, we have two cases of people getting beat up on or at least near cruise ships. One of these stories is going to leave you shocked and possibly a little scared next time you get off the ship and go to port. It's been a wild couple of days in cruising. Let's get into it. Climate change protesters greeted cruise ship passengers with banners accusing them of environmental destruction, marking the latest clash between the cruise industry and activists. Outside Dundon Railway Station in New Zealand, demonstrators from Climate Liberation Aotiora unfurled a banner reading, You Cruise, We Lose, as tourists from the Diamond Princess arrived. The group accuses cruise ships, described as giant floating hotels, of contributing to luxury emissions. The Diamond Princess, carrying up to 2,670 passengers, is just one of 72 ships expected to dock in Littleton this season. Protesters, including some on paddle boards in the harbor, have targeted several stops, including Auckland, Wellington, and Christchurch. While some passengers dismissed the protest as misplaced, the activists plan more demonstrations aiming to pressure the cruise industry to address its environmental impact. Okay, people, really quick, I have a request. No, I'm not asking you to like, share, and subscribe. In an effort to get to know the folks that watch Cruise News Central, I was hoping you would tell us what kind of pet you have, like if it's a cat or a dog, and what their name is, and leave it in the comments. My wife and I are animal lovers, and if you're anything like us, you'll be thrilled to tell us and the other viewers a little bit about your pet. This is our little kitty cat. Her name is Clue Number 7. We call her Clue for short. Okay, we really need to talk about the story out of Vancouver that is going to make you think twice every time you get off a cruise ship. It really is a crazy story. I promise we'll get there soon. But first, we need to get into the disturbing story aboard the MSC Seascape, a ship I have sailed on and I bet many of you have as well. An elderly person was allegedly slapped by a woman called Kelly Lynn Ryan and then punched repeatedly by her son Dylan Ryan aboard the MSC Seascape on October 6th. The violence took place in the main theater of the seascape. No details have been released on what caused the women and her son to lash out. Dylan Ryan was kicked off the ship at the first port of call after the incident in Falmouth, Jamaica, with the authorities citing excessive behavior as the reason. Kelly Lynn Ryan was allowed to remain on the cruise, but arrested immediately when the ship returned to Miami. She was booked on charges of battery on a person 65 or older. It would be easy to start speculating on what caused a mother and her son to hit a person, let alone a person over the age of 65, but it's probably better to just keep it to the facts for now. I will say I really can't think of anything that would justify hitting someone other than them hitting you first or possibly because of a sexual advance like inappropriate touching. It is reported that the event was captured on security cameras, so hopefully the truth will come out in court. I will obviously keep you all updated as the facts of the case come out. Okay, here it is. A story that will have you looking over your shoulder at your next port of call. A female tourist was severely beaten near the cruise ship terminal at Canada Place on Sunday morning. Vancouver Police Department spokesman Sergeant Steve Addison said the attack was reported at about 9 a.m. on October 13th. He said the 35-year-old visitor to Vancouver was walking near the cruise ship terminal when she was assaulted by a stranger. She was repeatedly punched and kicked and sustained multiple injuries that required medical attention at hospital. Addison said the suspect and victim did not know each other and had no prior interaction before the assault occurred. Bystanders who called the police were able to provide enough evidence, including video, that led them to a residential building near East Pender and Columbia Streets, where a suspect was taken into custody at around 12.30 p.m., and that is with the help of a police dog. Massimo Rosero Flavo, age 40, has been charged with assault and remains in custody. According to court records, Flavo assaulted a person in Vancouver on November 3, 2023, and has appeared in court 15 times since then, not including this most recent charge. This incident is alarming, especially considering its proximity to a popular tourist area like Canada Palace. The fact that the victim, a 35-year-old tourist, was attacked without any apparent provocation 
adds to the concern. Sergeant Addison's account emphasizes the random nature of the assault. Bystanders played a crucial role in the investigation by capturing enough evidence to help police locate and arrest the suspect. The fact that Flavo has a history of assault with 15 court appearances since November 2023 raises questions about how repeat offenders are handled in the justice system. Why are people who have been to court 15 times in a year not behind bars? The quick response by the police, including the use of a police dog to apprehend the suspect, hopefully brought some reassurance to the community. Hey, if you guys like this episode of Cruise News Central, click on one of the videos that you're seeing on the screen to keep up with everything going on in the world of cruising. That is it for Cruise News Central on October 16th in the year of our Lord 2024. Always remember, no matter what destination you choose, no matter what cruise line you choose, adventure awaits. <laughs>